of the shooter's gun uh, now starting to emerge, and there are a lot of questions about how he got it and whether or not it was legal. Our J.D. Miles has been looking into those questions. He's live in Garland tonight. Kaylee, we've learned the FBI and the ATF are investigating the origin of the sniper's rifle and ammo, as well as conducting ballistics testing on their firepower. Ever since the first images and sounds emerged from last week's attack on police in downtown Dallas, gun experts have been distraught, but also determined to learn more about the firearm used in the deadly ambush. I watched a lot of the videos. I think there's a lot of anger that somebody would do something like that. There always is. John Manowitz of Target Master in Garland has looked at a photo of the long gun and believes it's an AK-74 or Sega. It's mostly a sport firearm. From the photo taken at the crime scene, which sources tell us is accurate, Manowitz says it's impossible to tell whether the rifle was fully automatic. But federal authorities are investigating whether it could have been modified to fire an extremely high number of bullets per minute. Listening to the uh, audio feed from the different videos that are on the internet, I have to say that now it was a semi-automatic rifle. It's just some guy pulling trigger quickly. It's been reported that the shooter had military firearms training, training that would be necessary to fire such a powerful gun as experts showed me. So whenever you're ready, when that picture looks, just squeeze the trigger once. There you go. If you're you know, a proficient shooter and you have training, which this guy did, um, and you have the element of surprise, and you have position, and you have a, a rifle, yeah, any rifle. You could do a lot of damage. It's believed the sniper used steel jacketed bullets like these because witnesses reported seeing sparks on the ground. And it's important to note that these bullets can pierce a lot of bulletproof vests worn by law enforcement. Live in Garland, JD Miles, CBS 11 News. All right.